Hey you guys, Desmond here. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Ooh. And today we are here to discuss RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Season 9, Episode mm -hmm. 7. So before we get into it, I want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We have a goal of reaching 1,000 subscribers, and we'd love to reach that as soon as possible. So for us to reach that, we're going to need you to hit that subscribe button, honey. And mm -hmm. while you're there, go ahead and leave us a nice little comment. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single post. Okay? Now, what did we think of this episode of All Stars 9, a good old acting challenge? Uh the episode was good. That ending confused me a little bit. It didn't confuse me. Well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Yeah. So. Oh, wait. I need to pull up the screenshots. I was going to start going. So, the queens mm -hmm. walk into the workroom. They sit down. They congratulate Angie on her win in the lip sync. Roxy mm -hmm. comes in. And she is pissed. Man. And I'm glad she acknowledged it later. But I'm sitting there, because right. she, she, she was like, I don't like the dramatics. If you knew you were going to block me, you should have just came up straight to me and handed me the scissors. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, ma'am, did we, did we forget? Did you not which, just do this last week? Did, did we forget the, like, it's called making TV. Oops, my bad. I'm in the front of the wrong person. Scoop, 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 scoop. I'm here, like, man. we're making TV here, honey. Come on now. Let, let, let's be honest. But I'm glad, you know, when they were put on their makeup, she was like, you know, I was mad. Once I calmed down, you know, I realized, you know, I, I, I don't have much room to talk. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but that would be me. But I don't think I probably would. But I, I cause I, I would be upset. But like once I calm down and be like, well, yeah, it makes sense. I have the most stars. Mm hmm. And plus, I did block her. So she blocked me back, even though she blocked me first. Mm. But yes, uh, so we go over that, and we come into the next day. We come into the workroom the next day, and right. Plastic is trying to deflect everything away from her because she is one of the front runners and she has not been snipped yet. Right. And she gave this math where if one plus one is two, two plus three. Is but wait, four. but wait, I, I, it made sense to me. Right. Because I'm sitting there and I'm like, although she is pulling this out her ass, there's some truth to this. Because right. if this bitch already got five stars and me and this other queen got three, I'm going to mm -hmm. block the queen with the three stars so if she wins next week, she won't get nothing else and we'll still be on the same level field. Or if I win next week, I'll be ahead and she won't. Right. So, like, I understood it, but you could tell she was pulling that out her ass. I'm like, you better be lucky that makes sense to me. Big time. You better be Big lucky. Time. And that's a that's a move you got to pull at the end of the competition. You can't pull it here at the end. Right. Like, if we're on episode, yeah. like, 9 or 10, and I'm like, okay, I already know there's 12 episodes. So, let me look. Now, that bitch, she's going to make it to the finale. She got five stars. So I ain't going to worry about her. Mm -hmm. But me and you both got three, and these others got two. I'm going to block you because I need to make sure I'm in that finale. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So it, it, it got there, but she was pulling it out her ass. So afterwards, uh, RuPaul enters the workroom, and we get to play a good old mini game called Fruity Patootie, where they have to transfer fruit from one basket mm -hmm. to the other, only using their between me down theirs, as RuPaul called it. <laughs> but me down there. And this was so much fun. Oh yeah. It was I so funny love before. fun mini challenges. Like, just just come in here and be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Be stupid. Mm -hmm. And I'm we've been getting a lot for All Stars Nine and I'm I'm appreciative. If that's the if them staying gets us some mini challenges, that okay, at least that's a perk because I, <laughs> I I want to see some mini challenges. Right. Angie's face had me hollowing on the ground. Hollowing? Hollowing. Or hollering. Hollowing. That's the level beyond hollering. I was hollowing on the ground. 
Mm, she, <laughs> she was determined to get it there, okay? Mm-hmm. Look, I even got a close up on the face, like, baby, this, it was too funny. Too funny. And poor Got Mickey, and even Plastique, these are the wrong pants to wear for mm-hmm. a challenge like this. Because you got these big old baggy pants on. Big old empty hammer pants. Yes, honey. But yeah, real fun. But the queen who moved the most fruit was Nina. I almost said Nina Flowers. Lord, Nina West. Wrong all-star season. And she wins immunity from being snipped this week. I'm like, I'm like, okay, I like, I like that. You know, throw this little something in there for the mini challenges, you know. I really mm-hmm. thought they were going to get a beautiful benefactress badge. But there immunity you. immunity works too. Immunity works too. Mm-hmm. So, RuPaul announces that this week they will be acting in a scene with RuPaul herself. And they were already determined for them. They're like, oh no, we already selected your roles. <laughs> Go get your scripts. Right. <laughs> Go get your scripts. Meet me on set. Right. So that's what they did. Uh, we got Just to see them. Just your and put your makeup on. Yeah. So they went in there. They shot their scenes. And now it's time for the main stage. And up first, we have our good old mother, RuPaul. I- I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really excited to meet RuPaul this year. Because like I said, I'm going to get in that line. Uh... I don't care how long it is. <laughs> he said, if I got to spend the whole first day in line. Honestly, I almost did that for Sasha Kobe last year. I'm like, I might get in this line. Yeah, <laughs> but for schedule's sake, we would like for Drag Con to be in May again. Yeah, well, I'm like, well, I mean, and I already have a feeling that Safira's line is going to be long, but that's okay. I'm going to get in that line. Okay. I'm going to get in that line. I'm going to fuss about how long the line is. Yep. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get in line. <laughs> Be standing right there. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting to see Sophia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, I need to see Sophia. Um, but yeah, what did we think of RuPaul this week in your score? Oh. A very colorful. Um, you know, the white wig, I'm not the biggest fan of. I think because it's too far back on the forehead. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, uh, I give this whole outfit an A. I give it an A as well. I'm glad you clocked that wig because I was going to say the same thing. Bring it down. But other than that, I really love this. I love the flowiness of it. Like, this was really mm-hmm. cute. Come on. I love when Rue got the legs out. Okay. So I said, okay, dams. Can I get to the yams? Sweet yams. So made Show away. away. <laughs> <laughs> was it because I got bills to pay? <laughs> uh-uh. And then when Charlie actually got on the track, I was like, oh, snap. I'm so mad they never officially released that. They did it for TikTok, but, like, it was never, like, released on Spotify or anything. Because I'm like, give me Charlie. Right? I mean, it wasn't Charlie who did it originally. Yes. It was a, we, different, it yeah. was a rapper. Correct. It was Fetty Wap. I, I knew it was a rapper. <laughs> but yeah, when I saw that on TikTok, I'm like, oh my God, please record a new version with Charlie. Because right? I, I I need to hear that. I need to get to the yams. Sweet yams. Sweet yams. Oops, I lied. I just looked online. I just looked, the last time I checked, it wasn't there. But there is a version here with Fetty Wap, Charlie Wilson, and Ronald Isley. They done got Uncle Ronald on there. They done got Uncle Ronald on there, baby. I'm going to listen to that when we get done here. Obviously, we can't listen to it now. But I'm going to listen to that later. I have it queued up right now. We don't have the money. Uh, They'll just, uh, you know, they'll just uh, restrict the video. That's all. So this Rain. week, we're joined by Michelle Visage, Carson Chris. Where is Ross? We've seen a lot of Cross in this season. Uh, Where's Ross? I think Where's T.S. Madison? Started. We're seven I episodes mean, in, and we still ain't seen T.S. Madison. Where's T.S. Madison? T.S. Madison, like, promoted. Yeah, she's a main uh, judge now. She has been, I think, 15 was the first one where she was on the main panel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm a I'm a need to see T.S. Madison. Where, where is my good sis? Mm. 
And then we were joined this week by extra special guest judge, Colton Haynes. It was good to see you, Colton. I ain't seen you in a minute. Like, you gotta... Where do we know him from? Because the name sounds familiar. uh, Did you watch Teen Wolf? Oh. No. But now I know where I know the name from. Listen, that's where I know him from, because I watched Teen Wolf. I, unfortunately, am too old for Teen Wolf. I got into it late. The show was already canceled by the time I started watching it. Now, I didn't watch the movie. They did a movie, like, last year. I need mm-hmm. to go watch that. But I ain't watched it. But anyway, so it's good to see you, Colton. So, the category for this one is Widow. Is Widow Wheat for Me or Widow? Hold on, let me... I will tell you exactly what the runway is. Uh-huh. It is... Widow, weep for me. Okay, I was right. So, for mm. Widow, weep for me, what would Roxy St. James pull out for Widow, weep for me? Widow, weep for me. Hmm. You know, honestly, I do not know. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, you think. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I would yeah, t- uh, honestly, I low key would have done like I would have copied a Widow Von Du costume mm-hmm. because that's what came to mind. That was the first thing that came to mind was I would have pulled like a Widow Von Du outfit out and would have been on crutches because you know she messed up her knee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For me, I would have came out very, uh. You know, I watched, I finished Downton Abbey a few months. Has it been a year now? I don't know. I I finished it within the past, like, six months, I'll say. And, you know, when you lose your spouse, you know, you go through that mourning period. Right. And during that mourning period, you got to wear the black. Black with the veil, So, yeah, I would have pulled out something very similar for that time. But, Uh like, once I got to the end of the runway, I would rip it off. It'll be a little black dress. And I pull out my little pop, my little black book, because now I'm back on the market, honey. Oh, God. <laughs> Listen, my second thought was to come out dressed as Medea. <laughs> heading to the casino. <laughs> because, you know, after every one of her husbands died, where'd she say she went? To the <laughs> casino. <laughs> to the casino. So I would have came out dressed as Medea on the way to the casino. Got the check right here. Mm-hmm. On the way to the casino. But yes, let's get into these looks. Up first, we have Nina West. First, she has this look here, which reveals mm-hmm. into this very Haunted Mansion inspired. Um, I thought this was really cute. Honestly, one of the better outfits that we've seen Nina in. Mm-hmm. It looks like a, a dead Cinderella. Yeah, like I really enjoyed this. This actually gets an A from me. I, I never I thought agree. I never thought I would give Nina an A, but here we are. Hey. Here we are. What about you, honey? Um... I give it an A two. Mm-hmm. I, I I like the silhouette. It, it she's still sticking with Disney. Like I said, she just looks like an undead Cinderella. Um, yeah, I agree. Up next, we have Roxy Andrews. What did you think of Roxy's look? Um, I didn't get that she was a vampire or that that was an axe until she turned around and I was like, oh, that's what that was. She didn't bring the blood all the way down, but hey, it is what it is. I actually like the dress. I like the rhinestones for blood. So I give it an A. I thought this was a really fun concept. She was like, oh yeah, I killed my husband right after we said I do. I'm like, damn, honey. Okay. <laughs> you couldn't wait at least to the honeymoon? <laughs> nope. She said, no, you got to (laughs) go. You got to go right now. Um, I thought it was cute. It was a little bit out of the box, uh, different from what other queens did. I really like that. I'm going to give it a B+. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a B+. Up next, we have Angeria Paris Van Michaels, and she is the Black Widow, honey. I thought this was so much fun. This was cute. It had the element of camp with the urn in the hair and the, um, the web standing up behind her that Chanel helped her pin up there because apparently it fell and Chanel uh, brought some wire I guess for one of mm-hmm. her outfits or something so she uh-huh. helped her and got it whoop, whoop, and rigged it back up there for her and I'm like I love to yeah. hear that because I was watching um, the Roscoe's uh, 
Chicken and waffles. <laughs> the Roscoe's uh, after show that they put on YouTube, I was watching it, and um, Chanel mentioned how she was helping a lot of the queens. Mm-hmm. Helping a lot of queens. I'm like, I love that you were helping. I'm not sure if I would. But it was good to see you were helping. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I give this an A. What do you give this? I give it an A too. I love everything Angeria does just about. This was very polished for her, but she's always very polished. But it was still kind of out of her wheelhouse. So, yes, I give this an A. Up next, we have Plastic Tiara. What did you think of this? Um, I don't think it was the assignment. Did you not listen to she described the look to us? And she said it was for special occasions. She didn't say nothing about funerals. Well, a special occasion to me is a funeral. And, you know, it really had me thinking. I'm like, just because you're a weeping widow does not mean mm-hmm. you have to be in, in the black. black. And that's what that's what I took from it. It was used for special mm-hmm. occasions. Therefore, I felt a funeral is a special occasion. I thought this was stunning. Anyway, uh, uh-huh. what is your but, story? Yeah, agree. I, I think it was stunning. Like, other than the fact that in my mind, I didn't feel like she did the assignment. This was an A plus for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I love the look. She she always brings it, especially when it comes to her culture like all the time yeah when she so. first came on the runway i was like you i'm like this where is the, the assignment but then when she explained it i'm like oh okay teach us a little something honey teach us a little something i love it i agree a plus beautiful beautiful um up next we have chanel first she comes out in this um evil stepmother <laughs> cape Mm-hmm. And then she takes off to this beautiful, beautiful Victorian style dress here. Yes, I yes. love this. This she walked out, and I'm like, again, she just does it for me. She does it for me from head. This is an A plus for me as well. Yes, definitely. An this A+. was I mean, stunning. It was gorgeous. Oh. Probably one of the better outfits. I, I hate to jump ahead, but this is my favorite look of the week. Like, my goodness. This is done correctly. Done correctly. And I'm just, I get so irritated because I've been seeing stuff online about mm-hmm. them saying this was a Maria Antoinette inspired look. And I'm like, who is not Maria Antoinette? I'm like, you just do, you do realize was... there were other people from that time frame? Not every Victorian right. style dress is supposed to be Maria Antoinette. She didn't come out with no cakes or anything like to reference her. She just came out in this beautiful. She didn't even come in the high. Yeah. High hair. Is it French inspired? Yes. yes. But then again, a lot of European fashion came from French fashion. Yeah. Honestly, hell, she looked like she was going to the ball in Bridgerton. Like she was the queen. Give me everything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Let me quit. But yes, the, the two fingers. this is A plus for me. Yes, Moving on to George's. She starts out in this robe and, and then went into this dress. What did you think of this? Um, I, I agree with the judges. They were like, you know, we expected this of you. I mean, it is so much that I still give it an A. But again, very expected of her. I give this a C. I like it. It's just but, I I was I was expecting just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just because it's what we expect from Georges doesn't mean uh, you know that is good. I still think it's good. But you know, mm-hmm. so many queens stepped outside the box for this runway. Mm. Honestly, I think every other queen except for her stepped outside their box with this runway. She came out in something we would expect to see Georges in. I know if right. I'm coming back for All Stars, I want to bring out a different side of me mm-hmm. and show off a little bit something different. You know, it's good to have my classic looks, but you know, 
it's all stars. You're not going home. Right. So, and I heard they're changing that for All Stars 10. We'll talk about that later. Uh, moving on to Got Fucking Mick. This, my God. What's that uh, Camila Cabello song that's out now that I don't like? I love it, I love it, I love it. I love I, this. I don't know because I'm not a big Camila Cabello's fan. I'm not either, but you know, I'm chronically online. So, like, mm-hmm. I keep up with what the pop girlies are doing. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, her, she got a song. I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't like it, but I love this look, so therefore I'm going to say I love it, I love it, I love it. It gets an A plus for me. The details. And just from hearing from the queens online, they said in person, this mm-hmm. was even more impressive. You know what? And for that to be like hand dipped like latex, oh. like you could tell there was a lot of 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 care behind that. I don't care who designed it or who did it, but you know, a plus for me. Yeah, a plus for me too. God, this like got Mick, and I just love how she just every runway she changes it up. And it's just it it works it works this is this is what I want she to see. She has a clear aesthetic, but she still manages somehow to like make it different every time. Yeah, and like I want to give her her props because she really don't have to. She can come out in the white face every time, right? Because that's traditionally her aesthetic. But she already knows how Michelle is set up, so she's like, I'm not even trying to hear her mouth. Let me let me switch it up a little bit. So when I do mm-hmm. pull out my traditional face, she don't say nothing. Right, so that she's shocked. and Oh, I, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I'm stunning. I love it. Up next, bitch better have her money. It's okay. Miss Vanjie. Okay, what did you think of Miss Vanjie? Angie, look, Angie said, uh, look, Rihanna, if you want me to walk your runway, <laughs> here's what I can do. She said, "Widow wear." I love this, baby. I I, I adore like, this. Uh, a, oh, I speechless, wordless, A plus. I'm sorry. I agree with A plus. Like this, I, I immediately got Rihanna. Bitch, but have my money. Music video. Like this was so good. And then Vanjie, her makeup this season. She's just so pretty. Like, she's always right. been pretty, but the makeup this right. season is just, like, next level. Mm-hmm. She's another one I'm like, excited. She, she, you can tell she knows who she's painting for. Yeah. I'm excited to meet her at Dragon. I believe she's going to be there. I think she's on my list. I believe all of All Stars 9 is going to be there. But, yes, I'm, I'm excited. So, yeah. out of all these queens here, who had your favorite look? Uh, Angie. And I've already. Vangie, and I've Ms. already. Vangie. Oh, Miss Vanjie. I thought you said Angie. Miss Vanjie. Okay, Miss Vanjie. For me, it's Chanel. I said it earlier. Chanel just. It works for me. It, I don't know. Just for some weird reason, when I saw Vanjie, I was just like, "That's it. This is correct." <laughs> oh, it was correct. There was a lot of these that were correct. There's only one, in my opinion, that was not correct. Because I want to say we gave everybody an A except for one person. Well, you still gave her an A. I didn't. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, but now it's time for the acting challenge. So we'll just quickly go through these. Meetings in the ladies' room. Uh, first was Nina mm-hmm. West. I thought she did a really good job here. Like, she came in and she did the assignment. Right. Um, you know what? I was very entertained. And she she gave what needed to be given. It's been a really, really, really long time since I've watched Valley of the Dolls. I, I think I was but, a kid like, the last time I watched Valley of the Dolls. Because in, in that, that was one of the movies my great aunt would watch. Yeah, I want to say I was a kid the last time I saw Valley of the Dolls. Uh-oh, Kreisha froze again. Hopefully, 
she'll be able to join us shortly. <laughs> we are having technical difficulties when it comes to this here internet. So hopefully she'll pop back in shortly. But we're going to continue. So Roxy Andrews was next. I thought Roxy did a great job. I felt like she really could have dove into that Dynasty character just a little bit more. But I, I think she did a really good job. And a redemption. Because, you know, she didn't do well in her acting challenges of previous years. So it's good to see her really doing a good job here. So, up next we have Angeria Paris Van Michaels, and she did what needed to be done. It was fun, it was camp, and honestly, I think out of all the queens, she matched through the best. She really did. I was thoroughly entertained, and just by her turning around, like, that was everything that I needed just from her turning around. Up next is Plastic Tiara. Now, Plastic did a really good job here. Like, I was not expecting her to come in and do such a good job, especially acting with Rue. She came in and just really nailed this acting scene. She knew her lines. It was funny. It was funny, but you know, if you think back to her acting challenge on her season, when they did the Wakanda Forever parody, that was good as well. So... I don't know what we were thinking. We should have known that she was going to do a good job, but she did, and I was excited for her. Up next is Chanel. You could tell she was struggling with this. And, you know, she even said at Roscoe's that she really wasn't expecting to do a role like this because she does Joan Crawford so much, so it really got in her head. I wish she really just went in there and just embodied it because my girl needs a win, Okay. My girl needs a win like yesterday. She need a win like yesterday. So, hold on. I'm playing with my settings here. I'm trying to see. Well, hell, I'm in both of them. Okay, I'll squeeze over to this one. All right, this one. <laughs> oh, let me stop. Uh, let me switch back over to here, and hopefully she'll join us shortly. So, we move on to George's. And I thought George's was really funny here. This wig was killing me, though. The wig alone was a paid actor. It really was. <laughs> Moving on to Got Mick. Got Mick is such a natural. Like, she came in and it just really... It, it just... Honestly, I thought I was just watching a conversation between her and RuPaul. Like, that's how well she was doing. Um... I just, she knew her lines. It was honestly, honestly, she could have been in the top two this week. Like, I agree with Nina being there. But, like, if RuPaul would have said, got Mick, you're in the top two this week, I wouldn't have argued. I wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. And then we have Vanjie. I love this. Van My only thing is, Vanjie was Vanjie. I really want Vanjie to really push out of Vanjie. But Vanjie is so good. I get why she keeps doing it. You know what I'm saying? But yes, I really enjoyed this right here. And then this moment here at the end was hilarious when RuPaul was slapping everybody. It was it was too good. Too good. And apparently this was all the crew. Now this lady right here who was walking up like, doo, 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 I'm like, girl, what is going on? But it was so funny. I really enjoyed this closing moment here with RuPaul slapping everybody. So... So, after the critiques, we find out that Nina, Gottmik, Vanjie, and Angie were in the top this week. And after the deliberations, RuPaul announces that Angie and Nina are our top two all-stars of the week. I agree. I think both of these queens did well. You could have easily switched out Nina with Gottmik, but either way, this, this, was a, this was good. This was good. So, they lip sync to Love a Girl by Tina Marie. Now, don't get me long, wrong. I love when they reuse songs to from older lip syncs. But I wish they wouldn't use ones that had a good lip sync to begin with. Let's reuse the songs that didn't have a great lip sync attached to it. Like, The Baby One More Time. The No Scrubs. I, that would be hilarious if they gave No Scrubs to Nina again. <laughs> but yes, let's reuse songs that need to be reused. Because Love a Girl, baby, Miss Ka uh, Kasha Davis ate that up. I don't care what nobody says. Kasha Davis should have won that lip sync. 
I know a lot of people feel that way too. But it looks like Lucretia is back. Hi, Lucretia. Hey. So y'all, Lucretia is back in the house. <laughs> And um, before we continue on with reviewing the lip sync, what did you think of the acting challenge overall? Because we didn't get to hear your opinions. Um, you know what? I liked it. I thought it was funny. I think everybody did really well. And mm, I had a few criticisms, but I can't even pinpoint who it is right now. I'm a little like, like on a level right now. Because I'm, I'm, I'm hangry, and I ordered food two hours ago, and I'm like upset now. Oh, trust me, it's all right. Um, but we find out that the top two is Nina and Angie. Do you agree with that top two? Yes. So I was just talking about how reusing songs that we've had as lip sync songs before. And I'm okay with them reusing lip sync songs, but I need them to reuse the ones that had a bad lip sync attached to it. Mm-hmm. Because the one that they did on season seven with Mrs. Kasha Davis and um, was it Candy Ho? Yes. Um, mm-hmm. They ate that up. They did. So why are we reusing this? Baby, give us um, Baby One More Time. Give yeah. us I Will Survive. Like the ones that deserve yeah. a redemption. Right. But hey, it is what it is. I have to give Nina her props, though. I think this is the best lip sync she's ever done. And against somebody else, she might have won it. But Angie was slaying it. it. She was on it. Okay. I was like, Nina tried to go for, like, the comedy aspect. And I was honestly, like, the song doesn't work. Honestly, comedy. if she would have really, like, really deep dived into the comedy part of it, she probably could have She might have did it. Like, if she really would have played, especially at the end, was like, oh, me, me, oh, nee, nee. like, if you would have walked up the like this, just little <laughs> things like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, no, just like coming from the back of the stage, slowly walk up. Oh, nee, nee, oh, nee, nee, oh, nee, nee. Right. Like just little things like that. If you would have really just camped it up, I mm-hmm. think she could have really. Cause at first I'm like, girl, why didn't you change if the song was "Love a Girl"? But as it was going on, I'm like, no, that spookiness could work here. Right. But yeah, if she would have amped it up, she possibly could have won this. But yeah, I want to give Nina her her flowers this episode, cause she'd have had a good runway and a good lip sync. I don't know if we're mm-hmm. ever gonna see that again. So I'm gonna give her her round. Of a part, okay. But yes, Miss Angie ate this up and won the lip sync. Do you agree? Yes. So Nina is safe to slay another day, and because she didn't need her immunity, mm-hmm. they were like, "Okay, we'll give your charity twenty five hundred dollars." So hey. that's twenty five extra hundred dollars for there, and of course, Angie got ten thousand for her charity. Yeah. So the queens come up, and it's time for Angie to snip somebody else. Yeah. She she first she immediately walked to Roxy. Could you imagine the gag if she really would have did that? Oh my god, that would have been so funny. Baby, I would have been on the floor. How George's and uh, Plastique were, that would have been me on the floor. Because <laughs> they were like gag. But they were like, she, wait, what? But she ended up snipping. Got Nick. Do you agree with this decision? I don't know if I would have snipped gotten to make again. She's gotten snipped twice already. Oh no, I would have snipped her because remember she snipped me. Remember yeah. episode two, she snipped me. Mm-hmm. She got her lick back. Yeah. You know me, I'm I'm big on getting my lick back, and then let's play strategically. Right. Now with Roxy, I probably would have let her make it because I did block her first. Right. But we got Mick. Oh no, baby. <laughs> I got Mick. Here you go, sister. Snip, snip, bitch. <laughs> now there's only one person she got to get back at. There's only one person left, and that's Vanjie. Because mm-hmm. remember, it was Vanjie and Roxy who snipped her. Yeah. So she got to get Vanjie back. So if she wins again and snips Vanjie, it makes sense what she's doing. She's like, an eye for an eye. You right. snip me, I snip you. 
Snip, snip. <laughs> uh, but yes, Georges and Plastique were gagged. More Plastique. She drug Georges down with her. Georges like, if you don't get off of me. <laughs> Uh, but they danced the night away. They remind us to vote. And if you're not registered to vote, go to this website, please. Mm-hmm. Out of all the elections, please. I know our choices ain't great. I know they're At not. All. At all. But there is one that will be extremely better than the other. And I'm not talking about that convicted felon. Okay? So, please make sure you're registered to vote. So we dance and we find out that next week got mixed a little upset. Which I, I can see why, but at the same time, Angie was getting her lick back. Right. And next week they're gonna be designing they're gonna be designing outfits based off of RuPaul songs. And you know mm-hmm. I saw Hey Sis is Christmas, so I'm already gonna tell you now, I would have wanted Hey Sis is Christmas. Hey sis is Christmas. Hey sis. And can I lip sync yes, to it too, please? <laughs> Please and uh, baby, uh, can I also do the remix? Like, can I pull out verse? Get crystallized at Christmas time. All these other girls better get in line. It's crystal with a K and straight to the V. It's time to party with Miss Versace. I'm sorry, let me stop. <laughs> Santa, babe, I really want my crown. <laughs> we need more Christmas remixes. God. Mm. So if they know the season's going to air later in the year, give, give us a Christmas remix. Because Hey Sis is Christmas is probably one of my favorite ones. Oh, I remember that conversation we had with Kitty Scott Claus about it. Mm-hmm. And how the BBC was really not, not feeling her Santa babe come pull my knickers down. Mm-hmm. I'm like, honey, I'm glad they let her do it, but... <laughs> That is a positive memory from DragCon last year that I will always have. So, let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. Kreisha, where can they find you on social media? You can find me at Kreisha McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L on all social media. And you can find me in the club, pocket full of bud, my mom. But, if I'm not there, you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. That's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. Thank you so much for spending a PCA day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye.